Hello and welcome to Model Kit Stuff and today we are looking at some aftermarket etch for Airfix's classic HMS Victory in 1 to 180 scale. Yes, hello, welcome to Model Kit Stuff. We are looking at some aftermarket for the HMS Victory in 1 to 180 scale that has been out for, by Airfix, well, as long as I can remember and beyond. Um, we recently reviewed the kit and this is a small selection of some of the aftermarket that is available for it um, from this company here, Scale Warship. Um, I bought this direct from them online and when we did that first impressions my main comment was the dead eyes needed sorting out replacing something doing with them so that's the main reason that you'd be interested in this because this set here sorts that out so this is the rat line set um, then we have the uh, fittings set and there's also some uh, 3D printed um, rails there as well, which replace the heavy, thick plastic ones. Now, um, we'll, we'll have a look at all of these in turn. Um, what I would say is um, th there, there is another set which does um, uh, netting, and generally I, I find that one often out of stock for some reason. Um, but when we did the first impressions, we talked about hammock netting being missing, and they do do that as well. And that's the that's then the th complete three sets of of etch. So let's start by having a look at the rat line set. Now, f for me, it depends on what version of the kit you've got, how much of this you want to use. So. If you've got a more recent version where they give you thread and you have to make it on the machine and what have you, you can do some perfectly good looking rigging. Um, but this is gonna save you an awful lot of time because you basically just remove it, paint it, put it on. The main benefit being you get the dead eyes, which um, you've got front and backs, so you put them, uh, you put them on, and then you put them on the back, and that will give you um, uh, the correct look, um, uh, and job's done. They also have the advantage that we've got the correct uh, chain underneath. So um, at the moment, there is black, thick plastic rods individual rods um, whereas this has got the, the the dual link in it and it looks correct so it, it, it covers several bases of adding some refined uh, detail um, to the kit we've also got the um, upper shrouds here as well um, for um, further up the masts so it covers everything if you've got an older kit like me I actually prefer the um, pre-made um, rigging that's that's in the kit. So I might take the photo etch off and just use this section here and then put my rigging in because I just have to cut that rigging out. So it depends on your kit, depends on your personal preference of, of what you like. Um, they all come with comprehensive instructions. So the scale warships, um, range of etch for all sorts of ships is really really good when it comes to um, giving you comprehensive instructions so they identify everything on the sheet they tell you where it goes and then when we take out the instructions which are printed on individual A4 sheets it's two I think for this one We've also got detailed instructions on how to build the parts up with written instructions and um, images to help you. And then there's photographs of what it should look like. Um, and then they talk about um, 
positioning, how to cl clean up the parts, uh, remove them, how to bend them, um, all sorts of uh, bits and pieces on here and showing you the completed pictures of the uh, model with all three of their sets on. So it's all very comprehensive and it's not expensive either compared to other photo etch sets you can get from other companies. Not for this but generally then I think these are good value for money. Now um, Now this set, which um, looks smaller, but you know, it's smaller parts really, um, is the general fitting set. And what it covers off is some of the things that I commented about when we were doing the kit review. So the, the windows, you've got an option here to cut the plastic out and put these in and you can put some uh, acetate behind it and you can actually have clear windows. But you've not got any interior in there, so it, it's questionable as you want to do that. But what you can do is remove the frames and clean it all up, paint it in your desired colour, grey or blue or whatever you're going to do. You can then paint these separately and glue them into place, which means you'll have nice crisp frames that will look perfectly spot on. Um, and the frames are um, slightly thinner than the plastic ones so it will really look the part and you've got the side galleries as well as the stern gallery windows as well. You also get um, a correction to the um, Victory logo. If you remember I said that the Victory in that sort of um, elliptical hoop was, was incorrect and it should be painted on. Well this photo etch is so thin that effectively it will be painted on. So you glue it on, paint it all black, which will make the connecting parts disappear. And then you just pick out the letters in your chosen color, which would be um, whatever you're using for the, the yellow, uh, whether that be yellow ochre or the more sort of salmony, pinky, sandy color um, that, it, that it really is. Um, then we've got um, replacement uh, gratings, which is great because we had some real issues with the holes being oversized and a lot of them being clogged up, so we can replace all the gratings. Um, same for this part here, which goes out onto the bowsprit. Um, again, had the same issue as the gratings. Well, this is um, much cleaner, clearer part. You can either put it on top of the existing part or you can scratch build some uh, a frame for it to glue on underneath um, and you've got the correct holes in there for um, uh, thread and things to pass through. Um, and then there's replacements for um, the handrails on some of the spotting tops there, um, which is a, a really nice touch. Um, it, you might even find they're a little bit thin, so you might want to put a little bit of card behind them and, th and thicken them up a little bit, but they certainly look the part. We've also got a replacement for the um, skylight on the poop deck. We've got the, the sides and ends and then the top piece there, um, which is, again, really, really nice, and, and we can carefully put some acetate in after painting and, and, and build that up. It then includes some things that are not included in the kit, which are fairly prominent um, features. So these two things here are the flag lockers. They go against the stern bulkhead on the poop deck. So where the knees are um, and the, the centre uh, flagstaff, they go either side of the flagstaff there. They're, they're quite prominent features. Um, so and they're not included in the kit. Neither are these. These is the bowsprit netting, so it goes on on that fore deck there um, to make sure that everyone uh, keeps safe when they go in the loo and doesn't fall overboard. So there's some netting there that wasn't included can go in. And then these things here, um, uh, they're all pin rails, which again not included in the kit. They they fit um, on the main deck area. These horseshoe ones going around the masts. Um, 
that those ones actually had um, uh, there were some others that you can actually put on as well which aren't included in this um, because they had pikes boarding pikes um, uh, around the bases of their uh, the masts as well but this covers off um, some stuff that needed to change and some stuff that wasn't included there's even some um, photo etched eyes there for tying down some of the the rigging points so it's a really nice set it's and and this is cheaper than the rat line set so yeah very very nice then we have these 3d printed rails um, and these allow you to whip off the thick plastic chunky ones that you need to try and get on the inside to clean out the seam and stuff um, this there's quite a bit of work in cleaning them up but now all you have to do is remove them sand the uh, base flat and put these in it's going to save you a lot of time they're thinner they're more accurate looking than the ones in the kit um, and yeah they should look pretty cool and um, yeah they will give you a nice accurate look and, and they've even got the pillar shapes correct rather than just having a thick plastic stump so it's a really nice touch, um, it, it cost pennies literally, um, really nice little addition. So this isn't the first time we've reviewed Scale Warships products, we looked at their degaussing cable for um, the 1200 HMS HUD a um, couple of years ago now. Um, Scale Warships have a huge range of things to enhance your uh, model ships. Um, of all different sort of scales, um, particularly do quite a lot for tall ships. Um, I I really enjoy their products and they are fairly priced, based in the UK, great service. Um, I ordered these and got them, uh, I think, three days later. So um, really good, well packaged, came in a, uh, an envelope with card and card dividers inside, keeping it all flat and safe. Uh, marked as fragile so really good so check out um, scale warship limited um, it, it's easy to find them www.scalewarship.com um, like i say the products are great um, i really enjoy using them um, i'm looking forward to using these uh, on my um, uh, victory and yeah that's you know it is what it is it's good looking photo etch which is going to give you some practical upgrades there's no stuff there that's you know fanciful that you're not going to do they've not they're not put a load of photo etch cleats in that are too fiddly to put on it's all stuff that will genuinely enhance the kit um so there you have it um i've purchased these i'm not sponsored by scale warships um uh I just happen to like their products and I think this is a nice update uh, selection for HMS Victory. I hope that was useful, especially if you've got one of those kits in your stash and you, you weren't aware that there was aftermarket um, for you. That's, that's the whole point of this. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, you enjoy your modelling and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.